So today we heard the oral arguments for Laura Gaddy, Lyle Smith, and Leanne Harris versus the Corporation of the President of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. In the arguments, the church is represented by attorney David J. Jordan. And in the arguments, Mr. Jordan said something very interesting. I'm going to play the clip in full and then talk about the part that upsets me. What they are asking the court to prescribe is the manner in which the church teaches its doctrine. What things you should emphasize, what things you should uh, particularly point out to members of the church or to prospective members of the church when you're teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to them in the history of the church. And to say, well, what you need to do as a church, what courts are telling you you must do as a church is put particular emphasis on the method by which the Book of Mormon was translated. And uh, any disputes about that or anything that hasn't been given emphasis in the past, that is an intrusion on a deeply rooted religious matter. Is there any limit to that principle? Which is to say, can a church conceal anything, even if it thinks, wow, we're gonna lose half our membership on this, we better put it in a vault somewhere. Is there any limit on what a church can conceal and not be subject to civil recall? I think there is no limit at all on what a church is required to teach or not teach, emphasize or not emphasize. I, I, I think that would be a deep intrusion into what you described as deep religious waters. So basically, Mr. Jordan is saying that there should be no limit on what the church chooses to teach and what they choose not to teach. In other words, they get to decide what parts of their history they get to hide. In this argument, they chose only one topic, because as attorney Kay Burningham says, there are so many. They pointed out that the church hid the fact that Joseph Smith used a brown stone and a hat in order to translate the Book of Mormon. Again, the church's main argument is that it should be up to them what they choose not to teach to their own members about their own history. The church is absolutely pushing against informed consent.